Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here, another Star Trek Eagle Moss Online Edition model and magazine review. I'm sure I've got that all in the wrong order again. This time, it's issue number 9, is the USS Europa, NCC 97640. So, we've had the Europa in... Oh, that was in Discovery, wasn't it? The Europa, wasn't that the one that the Ship of the Dead, the cloak ship, just piled straight through yeah so this is kind of uh, I don't remember any other Europas being part of any any of the Star Trek mythos in the actual name wise so this is a 25th century ship Europa is a class heavy battle cruiser prototype in Starfleet since the night since the 14 2410 should we say so I'm going to one side for a second Let's get on with this, have a look what's inside. So let's get a quick look at the magazine. Actually 25th century, 460 meters long. It looks very interesting, it looks very much like the Europa that was in Discovery, the four nacelles. Ooh, hello. I don't know what alien you are. Lizard, purple lizard maybe, I don't know. to the next page, USS Europa in a wave of new construction to replenish the losses of the Iconian War. Okay. So I think the ship I have, or at least when I played online, looks similar to this, but it's kind of when I got two nacelles, not four. Hmm. Tactical Squadron 547. Interesting. I mean, there's so many different variants you can do with the online. It, it, it's quite ridiculous how, how many variants you can do. You thought a ship would have been a ship, it's that class of ship, but it's not. They've made it so customizable, it's quite um, ridiculous. Impulse engines, SAF link regulator module? Okay. Primary weapon. So these are phase, yeah, phase conditioners. Mm hmm. Okay. It looks like it does look very reliant-ish. Extraordinarily reliant. The Europa's there. This is obviously a, the one from Discovery. So part of the legacy. And like I say in all these videos, if you want to read, just pause it and read. If not, go buy your own and read it at your leisure. Starfleet Operations, Star Trek Online Law. I mean, there's nothing that we've actually found out yet in Discovery about whether or not any of this lot is actually canon. I mean, yes, it, it's kind of set after where we are in the Picard universe, but not far. Very not far. So, yeah. Nice little book. It's nice I'm having these little tiny books, which we don't have to bother with a with a folder for binders or anything. So it's nice to keep them in with the models and that's over and done with. But I thought they might have done a little bit better with the packaging, because the boxes are bigger. Got the code inside there for the more online goodies. Alright, let's have a look at the model. Because that's what we're here for. Can't get that out. 6708A slash A. It's still a first run model anyway. So, that's a different one. That's an oval. It's not. It's a, it's a half. Oh, hold on. Hello. This is kind of a lot of different ships in one here. I'm going to get you in a bit closer so we can see them. I'll do a full fly pass to start with, as usual. Bridge section there, overhead. It's like a warp cell. Warp engines is there. I mean, that's, that's, that's a sensor dome. And then another, another warp cell at the back. However, 
I don't know he's noticed. I'll go down to the cell first. Then we'll look at the back end. If anybody's noticed, but that looks exactly like the USS Reliant. The Miranda class. That is so much like the Miranda class, it's quite ridiculous. I mean, the front section actually looks like quite a lot like the Sovereign class. So it's a mishmash between both. But it's, it's two different styles. You've got more of a late 24th, late 23rd. That's kind of an odd marriage there. And to blend them in at the back like that, that's quite a good job to do that. I mean, your underside here, you've got a... Yeah, that's nice. A little bit of a spill on paint there, but to be honest, you can't really see that that much. It says Europa. Seam line there. It's looking underneath the nacelle there. Not exactly painted well. You've got kind of black grills there at the back rim, reminiscent of a little part of the Excelsior nacelle. But that top one's obviously not painted properly. Similar on that side as well. But this is absolutely minute detail. So if I was going to paint this when um, one of my fingers is there, that's kind of, it's it's a it's a fine hand to do stuff like that. So look at the forward, that's interesting. No deflector dish on the front, which is quite odd. Usually you would get a deflector on these. Oh, it's there. It's underneath the bridge section. Okay. You finally got back to some clear parts with the yellowing for the end of the bus art collectors. Nice marking there for the focus. There she is. I mean, some levels I do like the black bits. I don't know whether or not it's a, it's a modification added by a different race. And then the Federation's kind of your Tritanium look, and then your black parts are stuck on Borgified or something. You've used Borg technology. I don't know. I really don't know. There's um, Isn't there a theory something about... Oh, yeah, in Discovery. We don't know yet at the time, but this is speculation that... The Federation in the future is um, powered by Borg technology, but we don't know. Somebody put it out there and it's kind of, it might, I doubt it, but it might do. Well, stuff like this here, that just looks very Borgish. But it's the dark patterns and all this sort of stuff, it's very odd, but this is kind of, it might be inspired by the Borg. In the 25th century, but by the way, it's the 31st century. When the burn happens, then I don't know. See what happens. I mean, they've got two supports for the overhead missile. It's not a missile launcher. It would really like to be a missile launcher, but it's not. Is it an independent ship with its own warp nacelle? Well, well, actually, is that a bridge? That might be a bridge. This, this looks like it might separate off. Hmm. I don't know. Nice to speculate. It's better to get actual proper fact, but I just don't know. The whole thing looks like it might. It vents there as well. Maybe the entire lot, all this section might come off. That's why we've got four nacelles, because it's possibly two ships stuck together. Oh, because they are impulse engines. Although the blue, you've got impulse engines underneath here. I'm putting good money that separates. Very good money that separates. Hmm. Big ship to separate with not much armament, not much weaponry on this section here. So, yeah, I quite like. So when you look into these things, you've got the brown section around here as well, as well as the black on the outer and then the grey panelled. Very nice, very, very nice indeed. I like that. I thought these two were guns, to be honest, but it does look like you've got intakes around the back of it. 
I think that was what he was doing. Maybe it was a concept art in the magazine that we saw where it was firing. Hmm. Nice little model, this. I do like the Federation models from the online set. They have a good nod to past, future, present, everything. They're not just a, a crazy, well, you know, it might work, might not work sort of situation. They're really good. Very good indeed. So, hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, go out, buy them. You don't have to subscribe to these anymore. They just come out when they come out, which is nice. We can just keep an eye on them and see when they come out. Eagle Moss usually email me when they're out available anyway, so I can go out, buy one, done, sort of. Don't get any discounts, unfortunately. If anybody does know any good discount codes, please, description below. So, anyway, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.